action uh, with us this morning. One of the things that you were going to talk about, of course, is El Chapo, the drug lord who is on trial. Um, but new information, but we're literally just hearing that the uh, jury has come back with a verdict. He was convicted, uh, found guilty on first count in the indictment. So uh, maybe you can give us some insight on, on this new information. Yeah, here. so basically he's going to be facing life in prison now. So what happened was is that they wanted to get him extradited from Mexico because he kept escaping. Mm. And I don't know if you remember, he, they had a, a, a mile long tunnel. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the way that he got arrested is that he was with two of his henchmen and they went out for a burrito and pornography. And then that, that's how they got stopped and he ended up getting arrested and that's how he ended up in federal prison through extradition. So now he's been convicted. So he's, okay. he's basically, I don't think he's ever leaving prison. Is, is that a fast food restaurant where you can get burritos? <laughs> he just like burritos, or? right? It's a side dish. <laughs> well, and the reason why we're bringing this up and as far as Hollywood's concerned, yeah. because Sean Penn, which we're still trying to figure out the why connection, Penn, yeah. wanted to do this documentary for Netflix. But either way, he, okay. he was interviewing so El Chapo. Sean Penn basically played a part in this odyssey, right? Okay. So Sean Penn decided to write a article for Rolling Stone. Mm -hmm. And he found El Chapo in La Tuna, which is in Sinaloa. And he took Kate Del Castillo, who is a soap opera star, and knew that El Chapo liked her and said, hey, I'll bring her with me. Uh. And so they go out to do an interview. And what he doesn't know is the Mexican Marines are about ready to go arrest on. El Chapo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they were going to go in on foot so El Chapo couldn't hear it. So they had to make a decision. Do we take out Sean Penn <laughs> as collateral damage? <laughs> right. And someone probably said perhaps because he was hanging out with Hugo Chavez in Venezuela mm. and he wasn't super popular with, with law enforcement and the Drug Enforcement Administration. They said, we're going to spare Sean Penn, so we're going to go in with helicopters. So El Chapo ended up escaping. Mm. So there's an issue as to whether or not Sean Penn, Spicoli, uh -huh. basically was guilty of obstruction of justice. Right. Oh. Or whether or not the freedom of the press should basically carry the day. Because in this country, we believe that the free uh, flow of ideas is very important. And we want to learn more about El Chapo because the First Amendment is important. So the DEA, uh, Jack Riley, who was the second uh, uh, in, uh, head of the DEA, said that Sean Penn should be in jail for obstruction of justice. You kind of have to have what's called scienter, which means uh, knowledge that this is occurring. And I think to Spicoli walked into El Chapo Spicoli. by accident. No shirt, no shoes, no El Chapo, right? Ah, ah. Oh my gosh. It's so weird. It, it's very strange. It's yeah. so, so weird. you got Venezuela, Hugo yeah. Chavez, you got El Chapo, you got the First Amendment, you've got obstruction of justice, a lot the of DEA. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. All because of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Exactly. It all comes back to that. They, they Without that the, movie, he's not Sean Penn, right? Right, exactly. Well, they got the conviction as of like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. So do you think that Sean Penn will yeah, be able to walk away from this now? Uh, you mean that El Chapo or Sean Penn? Sean Penn. Oh, yeah. Sean Penn, yeah, he's, I think the statue will be. It'll, it'll wash. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right.